technologies, which I think is an indication of sort of the diversity and sophistication of our economic base. Now, I mean, it's very important that you know, when we're talking about joining the European Union 35 years ago, these sort of industries weren't with us. They weren't part of our landscape in any great measure. And they now are because people like people who work here are, are providing advanced business solutions to many of the multinationals and other communities here in Ireland. Many businesses will depend on them uh, for the technologies that they bring to bear uh, to add value to their products and services. And I think this is the trade, uh, an indication, as I've said, of the diversity and the sophistication of the economy that we now have. So I want to thank um, people like the people who work here, who in the SME sector, and over 36 employees here, who are providing uh, an extra livelihood to people who work here, but are obviously subsidizing the, the wider economic sector as well. And that's an indication of how interconnected and how integrated and how interdependent we all are. Uh, and next Friday is an opportunity for each citizen to take a positive step to decide that we're going to bring positive momentum behind our economic recovery, that we're going to say clearly and unequivocally not only for ourselves as a country, as a nation, but also to those with whom we cooperate and must cooperate in order to advance our economic and social interests, that we are positively disposed to a yes vote in this referendum. We don't want to stand outside the consensus that has been painstakingly negotiated. We don't want to be brought to the margins. We want to be at the center of decision making. We want to be able to shape the events and policies which, in fact, are going to happen in any event, in many respects. And we have to be there, uh, seeing that our, uh, our approach is accommodated, that our concerns and interests are protected and promoted as well. And the, the best way of doing that, as we all know, is by being at the center of decision making, by being part of what that team that is going to be making these decisions. And that's what Ireland should go to, yes. And those who, from Europe who look in at Ireland and wait uh, to see uh, the outcome of this referendum, you know, see in Ireland a country that has benefited well, that has used its membership positively and constructively, that has built up a great fund of goodwill for our various national positions within the common policy framework that is the European Union. Uh, because we, precisely because we are constructive, we are positive, we are engaged, we do want to participate. And we want to make sure that companies such as the parents here and the that the people like this in this sector uh, can look with confidence to how we're going to progress in the future. We want to create a greater degree of certainty about the direction we're going. Voting yes provides us with that. Voting no puts at risk all of what we're trying to achieve, in my opinion, and it unnecessarily increases the level of risk. Uh, at a time when we need to be minimizing risk, we need to be uh, galvanizing the national effort together. Uh, and the more people who go out and make that positive step forward next Friday, I think, the better for the country. So I want to thank everyone for having taken up your time. I know it's a you know, you're busy people, your people are out there doing business in a more difficult trading environment, but doing it successfully because you know, the degree of excellence that you pursue and that you achieve. Uh, and we just are very thankful and grateful for being able to accommodate us for a short while this morning to get this message across um, through our media colleagues here to get the point across that the, you know, the SME sector that subsidies into the, the wider economic sector is as important that you are allowed to progress, that you're allowed to develop and expand. And voting yes, I believe, is an important factor in doing that and helping you achieve it. So thank you very much and the very best of the struggle here. Congratulations. Thanks very much, Tisha. I think that uh, certainly uh, sums up and represents very well uh, why the Chamber is fully behind the S-Board and, 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 and thinks it's the only way forward. As Tisha said, uh, it's very appropriate to be here in South Dublin in a company employing about 35 people. It is out in areas like this uh, that a yes vote is most important. Tala and South Dublin generally has uh, an unemployment problem. Uh, voting no will do nothing to change that. Voting yes gives us a fighting chance of being to address that. And I'm delighted to introduce Carol Smith, or Stuart Smith, sorry, who is uh, Managing Director of Carol Smith Limited here in Canada's here for us. Okay. Well, first of all, the most obvious thing to say is that um, without the European Union, Carl Stewart probably wouldn't be here. Certainly not here in its current form, anyway. Because um, a lot of the major customers who are here are here because of the European Union. For that very reason, it, it's necessary that we don't appear on the fringe of the club. We need to be in the centre with everybody else 
making the decisions which is good for all of us and in particular good for the people who work here and will carry on producing jobs for the people who work here and more jobs in the future we have. Thank you. Thank you very much.